Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And for those of you that are subscribing over on the Patreon page, thank you so very much for your monthly subscriptions. They mean the world to me. Um, <clears throat> if anybody's interested in subscribing to the channel and supporting in that way, you can go to patreon.com, look up Engelgeist and choose a subscription level. You look at the daily forecast a day early. Also, there's other readings available only over there, not on the YouTube channel, that are specifically for the Patreon subscribers, depending on the level of subscription that you choose. So, this is the daily forecast. It is a broad spectrum reading for, you know, whoever's intended to see it, basically, whoever comes across it and finds it. So I set the intention that it is the message for the greater collective for the highest good. Therefore, it is not necessarily only solely made for the date that it was originally intended. It is also a timeless message. Spirit has a way of finding messages, putting them in our feeds, getting them to us when we need them. So if you're watching this on a date that doesn't corroborate with the title, that's completely fine. You may still be able to uh, get something out of this reading, so you don't have to turn it off just yet. Uh, this originally is for November 4th, Wednesday, so of 2020, but um, <clears throat> you may utilize it whenever you come across it, okay? If this applies to your life, great. Uh, please utilize it to the best of your ability for your highest good. Um, if uh, you do make any decisions after having watched this video, please um, know that those decisions are your in your life, right? Those are your uh, responsibility, okay? Um, if anything doesn't make sense or it doesn't match up, it doesn't feel like it's resonating, that's completely fine. I don't want you to worry. It doesn't mean anything's wrong. It's just that you might be working on something different at this time. All right, so let's get into this and see what's going on with our November 4th energy. <clears throat> what do we need to know? Oh my God. Okay, so he's back two days in a row. Justice, this Libra energy, this clear thought, balancing on our logic, getting meditative if we need to, guys. This is this cat. I just described this yesterday. <laughs> oh my God. We're also, for those of you that may be watching this later, right, just as a little time capsule, this is the um, being filmed on the third, which this cat came up for yesterday's reading, which would be for today, the third. I'm now filming this for the 4th on the 3rd, to not confuse matters even worse, but this cat is back. I feel like this cat is telling us remain calm, stay in our intellect, be sort of detached and intelligent about our behaviors, our decisions, don't get emotional. Um, the justice means that if there's somewhere where we're feeling like we're being wronged, or discredited, or uh, invalidated in some way, shape, or form, to not let that sort of get to us, that the truth or the justice will prevail, the right answer will come. Uh, staying balanced, that's the Libra and scales that we see there underneath that cat's foot, uh, will help to keep move us through this period. I, I feel like, you know, we're seeing, it's been almost all, um, it has been all major arcana so far this first week of November. And so, and with the presidential election taking place, uh, on the 3rd, which is today, the results will come out probably tonight, there's probably going to be, you know, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions for either side, um, depending on what happens. And so I just think that all of us, uh, the message here, if there's a, you know, message for the greater collective, this is about going inward, remaining calm, staying balanced, being smart, uh, using our heads, not our you know, frustrations to lead us, right? Knowing that in the end, there is this justice aspect to this, right? Which says to me that there is um, a plan that, uh, and this can be also applied to day-to-day -day life. If some of you are dealing with, you know, situations that feel unfair, that feel, I mean, I'm looking at this in terms of sort of a bigger scale thing where we're looking at the presidential election, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean that. It can mean, for those of you that might be dealing with court battles or, you know, unfair treatment from loved ones or whatever, 
this speaks to the idea of if we disengage or don't engage in, and, and, and kind of back off and go back to ourselves and our own intellect and, and retain that balance, that the truth will come out. The, the purity of um, what we need to know will soon arrive. And when that arrives, justice will prevail, right? The correct thing will uh, uh, sort of come to um, either our awareness or to light kind of thing, right? That's sort of this card. Now, I want to look, we have that star card as the midweek, right? And that star card is about that quiet confidence, that peace, that, you know, wishes granted sort of energy. So hopefully, um, you know, some of us are feeling that underneath this justice card. If we're not, if we're feeling torn or pulled, we need to get into a place of detached intellect, balance, and uh, intelligence versus emotions, right? Utilizing the power of this justice card is going to also lead us towards that judgment card, which is that Scorpio energy, which we are in Scorpio season. And we also just left Libra season, guys. So um, it makes sense why we're seeing these cards a little bit. So let's see what's going on here. I don't feel as though I have a whole lot to say about justice because I just talked about it yesterday. And justice is sort of blind, right? In the sense that the cat's got its eyes closed. So like, even though there might be two sides to an argument, there may be a fight at hand, the truth eventually will come out in whatever the situation may be, whether it's a presidential election or something more personal to you. This card says that the truth will indeed come out. And when it does, just be you know calm, cool, and collected in the, in the time that it takes for it to come to pass. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right, so let's see what's going on with the Empathic Oracle. Okay. We have future. It's number 39, which would be a 12, which would be a 3. Right? Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. My, I'm sorry, my math skills are a little bit off. Kind of a little bit of a dark card. Yesterday, I don't know why I'm getting a funny vibe from this future card. It's sort of strange to me. I will read the, the um, definition. I'm sort of excited to see what they're trying to explain here. It's interesting to me that it boils down to a number 3. Um, Three is the mind, body, and spirit, which I can kind of see that in the justice card, right? Finding that balance between the three, not letting anyone lead too much, like not being so detached that we're completely removed from the situation, but also not being so emotionally attached that we're completely rocked by any situations that are going on in our lives. Sitting and waiting in our, our own space, in our own peace, knowing that justice will arrive if we're feeling as though we're being wronged in any way, shape, or form. This future card to me speaks to the idea that I, I, there's a couple of different interpretations that I'm getting from this. This justice that we seek, may, it may take some time to get here. Um, I don't know, the, the white X's sort of look, it's giving me a weird vibe, like a little bit ominous. I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but it almost like maybe we can't see our future. Also the blind, the, the eyes closed on this cat um, speak to this idea that there might be Hmm. I don't want to make this all about the presidential election, but I sort of feel like some of us may not be able to see where we're going forward at this time. It's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. And what I feel like with this future card is that we need to sort of bring ourselves back to the now. To me, when I look at this justice, this cat, in this justice, he's sort of going inward and bringing his attention to the present moment and remaining balanced, uh, smart, intelligent about his actions and reactions, right? Instead of tripping over the future, where are we going to go? What's going to happen? All of that sort of, I'm getting this kind of these crosses through the darkness. To me, it feels like we can't determine that just yet. So if things are put on hold, that's okay. If, and I'm talking about like, not only, you know, in our political arena, but like, let's talk about if somebody's going through something right now where they feel frustrated because they can't maybe move forward or they can't get the results that they're seeking. Um, I feel like these cards are affirming that that's the case, but not to worry, to remain in this sort of justice uh, state where uh, rely on yourself first and foremost, retain your own sense of well-being and the future will kind of work itself out, right? I almost feel like with this future card, there may be too many factors involved 
for us to determine at this time. So that's what that three is, is the mind-body-spirit connection, like trying to um, navigate our mind, body, and spirit and bring it into a sense of peace, a sense of that star energy too also is underneath this. So we want to bring that in for ourselves, that peace, that awareness, that uh, sort of peaceful sort of um, understanding of who we are and what we bring and what we need and um, how what we offer to the world, right? And we want to offer sort of right now, maybe in these trying times, some of our best and highest um, uh, vibration. And that would be the piece of this justice card and the truth of this justice card, but also the piece of that star and the, the calm of the star. The star always follows the tower, right? So if stuff feels like, you know, the world might be falling apart, it's really not. That's kind of the feeling that I get. All right, and remember, yesterday's card was chaos. So if things feel a little bit out of whack or we can't see the future right now, that's okay. All right, so let's look to the grounding stone. What do we need to know? All right, it's on tiger's eye, and it's generosity. I kind of feel like this is stating to us. I mean, remember, we have that idea of passion, right? And joy. We saw energy yesterday. Now we have generosity. Where can we be kind to ourselves and to others? Um, I really think that that's going to be key as we transfer through whatever's going on right now. Um, I think that there is something going on, obviously. We're also exiting out of a Mercury retrograde as of today. So communication hopefully will go back online and, and work in our favor. Things will stop being sort of mishap related and feeling so sort of off. But um, we also want to remember to sort of remain grounded, remain balanced. Um, I, the, when I'm thinking of the tiger's eye, I'm also thinking of that idea of, you know, our third eye and looking at things more intuitively because that cat looks so at peace to me where he's sort of listening to his own sort of intuition versus the activities going on around him in the outside world. And I think that when we can do that, we can then also be more generous, maybe with our time, our energy, our emotions, our support to those that need it. And also, I'm going to say this too, when we do that and when we approach situations like that, even if we don't know what the future may bring or things may feel chaotic or out of place or upsetting, when we take the time to be generous in that way and to seek out this more balanced state of being amidst sort of uh, trials and tribulations, we're actually, you know, coming from that more truthful place of who we are and what we're capable of. And that also is a form of justice, right? That's really a form of sort of us doing our, our, our highest and best in a time when, you know, maybe not everybody else is. And so that is a form of also us being generous by giving our sort of best, uh, you know, mindset, our best emotional balance, our best, whatever we have that is, our, you know, at our best, we want to also share that uh, as best we can, not only with ourselves, but with others too, right? And hopefully in turn, that affects them in a way that helps them too to feel more maybe safe or uh, balanced too. So let me read these cards to you really quick. I think I forgot to read yesterday's anyways, so that'll be good. We'll get to see the justice card again. Maybe there's something in here that I missed. Um, dedicated to T California or T Ka is the name of the cat. Symbolism. The sword is open to new insights and information before weighing in on a decision. The scales is balanced, seeking fairness and equality. The closed are, eyes are unbiased, going inward for judgment, using intuition, while detail, the, the white detail is bird, is knowing what something is, even without all of the information. The books are gained wisdom, learned knowledge that serves as an influence. So message, for every action or decision, there is a reaction. A choice that seems banal today may have significant implications later on down the road. Interesting, because we have a future card going on. Justice asks that you do not try to see too far into the future, but instead use your intuition and gained wisdom to make the best decision at this time. 
If you are involved in a legal matter or a situation that requires a ruling or conclusion from an authority figure, you will benefit greatly from keeping your emotions in balance to avoid acting in a manner that would be counterproductive to your end goal. You may need to take responsibility for your actions and hold yourself accountable. When justice appears, truth prevails. Energy attributes. The positive is weighing each side evenly before reacting. Seeking balance and harmony, aware of cause and effect, understands karma, accountable for actions, expects an even playing field for all. In the negative state, justice can represent seeing all situations as black and white without any nuance or gray areas, can't conceive how a situation could be perceived as unfair or unjust, rigid mindset, unable to make a decision due to endlessly weighing all the pros and cons, questions of the, uh, questions the morality of others, which there's a lot of that going on politically right now. So um, let's look at 39, which is this future. I don't know why I get this funny feeling like we're not allowed to see the future right now. And that's, I, I really feel like the darkness with these white X's is like spirit saying, no, we're not predicting the future today. Be in the now. All right. In my future, I will become what I was meant to be. There are many different teachings about how our future unfolds. Some believe that it happens by random chance. Some believe that it is a it is a slave to the good and bad choices we have made, and others practice conscious projection of thought so that what they desire can be manifested. Each of these beliefs embodies some truth, as well as limitations. How many times has your future been judged as less bright as you look at the time and energy invested and then become disappointed in what you were given in return? Or worse yet, the belief that you will be a victim forever and nothing will ever change as you experience endless cycles of negativity. As an empath, your gift of the future is realized in your ability to feel and experience energetic choice and belief. You soon discover that every moment has been teaching you all aspects of energy, how it is controlled by your intentions, and that it has been preparing you for your future. The lessons of life begin to seem less challenging when you realize that they are teaching you the gift that you are. Changes begin to come in from a place of need to experience all that is loving and positive. Curiosity soon lessens the bounds of energetic baggage and even the experience that all that I need is present before me can begin to take hold. Trust and intuition soon become the guide that leads you into the gift of your future and the gift you are you are to its unfolding. Am I allowing myself to be present to my future as it unfolds? Am I stuck in, an, in endless cycles where every moment has become the same? Is this situation the same one I've experienced over and over again? Is it about time to break this cycle? And again, there's things about time and truth in both of these cards, and I feel like that is maybe what is going on. So in the present moment, as we stay balanced and in our sort of uh, focus of sort of self and our own behavior, our own reactions and, and sort of engagement at this time, it's about finding that truth within ourselves and also allowing that time uh, to sort of take us where we need to go. Okay, I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, it's interesting we're seeing this cat twice today, two days in a row, but uh, I'm not surprised. I feel like this deck is going to spook the shit out of us all month. <laughs> Leave it to the cats to be coming. This is Arthur coming from beyond the grave. Okay, so I hope this reading makes sense, you guys. I hope it helps. Please, you know, uh, go inward, remain calm, be generous with your time energy, especially towards yourself first and foremost, and then towards others if you can. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow to see where this all goes. Um, uh, you can tune in for the November Taroscopes. Those are all on the channel. And thank you so much for your support. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Take, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.